welcome to its Rafiq. in this video we are going to explain one important questions of mysql which may come in your pre-board practical examination or hlc C practical examination so the question is this write um, write the mysql query to create table student with structure given below the table contained this column student id name marks admission date and address and that data types are given as below student id integer name barker and marks integer admission date date address barker and constraint student id is primary key and name is not null so to do this first we have to open mysql you can do this one go to search menu there you type mysql and remember uh, mysql must be installed in that computer then only you can open it after opening mysql you have to type the password type the password if you don't know the password uh, you can ask from the lab in charge or the teacher after typing typing password if the password is correct you will see this screen welcome screen now we will uh, first have to create a database for that the command is create database and give your name suppose i am giving my name only then enter key if uh, the result is query okay that means database is successfully created now you have to write use then the name of the database what you have uh, given so my name was rafik123 use rafik123 database change that means this is my current database now inside this database we have to make this table and see here our table name is student and it contain total five columns so let's create first we'll write create table student then break it we can go next line or we can continue in same line also the first column was std id it was integer and for integer we don't have to mention size so directly we'll now write the constraint that is primary key now next was name so name data type is worker and size 20 and the constraint is not null comma then the next column marks data type is integer and there is no constraint the next column admission date data type is date and the next column is address data type is worker and size 10 after writing all the columns uh, in the last column we don't have to give semicolon just we'll close the bracket and a semicolon okay this is the query to create a table I'll, this part for creating table and while you type the command for writing query you have to be careful uh, just for a single mistake your query might not work and when you press enter key the result should come as query ok if the result come error or something that that means your table is not created so it's came query ok that means my table is created now we'll go to the question and we'll see question number a enter five records we have to enter five records so we'll write this query insert into student values and inside bracket we'll write the values suppose roll number is one name is uh, sia then uh, marks was out of 600 it is 450 then admission date let it be 2014 then uh, 0 01 and 0 01 after that address 6 mile then bracket close and semicolon now you see here where we have integer value we don't give the inverted comma or quotation but when we have a worker or date we give the inverted comma 
so enter query okay that means queries in uh, the one record is inserted inside the table and for inserting next record you can click on up arrow key on the keyboard then you will get the previous command and here we'll just change the value like in place of one we'll write rule number two and in place of sia we can write ria and 450 place we can write 350 and in 2014 it's 13 we can write and six mile place eight mile enter two record entered again up arrow here also we'll change the value then uh, rule number three ria then priya marks let it be 390 and admission date we can change the day 15 and this is 12 mile three records inserted now the fourth record roll number four and now Raj Max is 370 and admission date make it February and your address will give some other uh, Dispur four record inserted one more record we can insert all the record together also but uh, if you write everything together there in there are high chances that you might make mistakes so better to insert the record one by one now rahul then marks let it be 400 and admission date keep it this one only and address beltola then we have inserted five records now if just we want to see the record whether it is inserted or not we can write this command select asterisk from students sorry it is student not students so we have these five records now we'll go to the question display the record in ascending order of salary so we have to display the record uh, it should be not salary it should be marks okay means in uh, the student who got less mark Raj his name should be at top so we'll write select star from student order by marks a s c for ascending for descending d e s c okay so here you can see uh, whoever got the lace mark 350 they are at top and who got the highest mark they are at down because we have arranged them in ascending order now the next question change the data type of address to worker 15 now let's see describe the table d e s c student here you see the size of address is 10 now we have to change it to 15 so we'll write alter table student modify address then Barker 15 in bracket after that semicolon very okay that means it changed now let's see whether it is changed or not by writing this command des is student now you see in address field the worker is 15 earlier it was 10 so this will be the query to change to do question number 4 or search c number d add a column gender after name so we'll write alter table student add gender and we can give worker 
10 or we can give 1 also for m and f if we write male female other than we'll give worker worker 10 after name so this query to do question number d query okay that means it appears let's see by writing dsc command so here you see after name we have one more column gender now the last query display the record of student whose name and with a so we'll write select star from student where name like then within inverted comma first we'll write percentage symbols that means any number of character after that a that means it is ending with a and done semicolon now you see we can see only the student whose name and with a so this way we can solve this question mysql question i hope you have understood and sometimes the question might be same just uh, your table name might be changed like in place of student you might get uh, employee table and instead of student id you may get employee id and all means the way of solving the question is same only just a uh, little bit it changed like in maths sometimes the numbers get changed so this way i hope you have understood if you didn't uh, if you still have any problem regarding queries you can write in comment or you can join our telegram group to discuss there thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye